Before we begin our coding example, let's take a look at some basic terminology. First, Java is a strongly typed language. So what does this mean? Well, every variable, method, expression, all that good stuff has a type. And each type is strictly defined. For instance, if we take a look at variables, what they are is just simply a temporary storage place. You can think of them kind of like a cup. And the type is what we can store in that cup. So say we're going to create a variable that can hold a sentence or a password. Well, we could use something like a string. And so its type would be string. And we can give it a name like password. And then we can say password equals and give it some sort of password. Or later in the application, we can have the user store their own password. Let's take a look at this uh, in Visual Studio Code. All right, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in either learning Java or you're taking a course with me. So I will create a link to the in the description below to where you can find this, but this is the compiler that I'm going to be using while I'm programming all the Java stuff. What you want to do is scroll down to the middle of the page and download Visual Studio Code for the Java pack. And what that's going to do is give you all of the JDKs and the links to the things you need to install Visual Studio uh, Code with Java. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this because I already have it installed and open up Visual Studio Code. Now let's go ahead and set up our, our project. What you have to do is create a folder where you're going to be storing in each Java project. So I'm just going to go to File and I'm going to create Open Folder. In my Documents folder, I have a Visual Studio 2019 and that's for that the projects that are for that. I want to create one just for code. So I'm just going to make a folder called VS Code. And within that folder, I'm going to make another folder. And for our first project, we're just going to call it Hello. You know what, let's just call it Play with Java. Because we're going to be going through a lot of different stuff and we'll create a um, an actual application, maybe a game or something with Java later when we get into data structures and all that good stuff. But for now, we want to learn the basics of the language so we can do our homework. All right, I'm going to select that folder. And once it's done setting everything up, you're going to see here's a link to our folder. And I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to go with the default hello world dot Java. And when I press enter, notice that it automatically knew when I wrote dot Java that this is a Java file. Now, the way that Java is structured, it's a lot like C Sharp if you come from that world. If I type class here for a minute and I click, you'll notice it'll auto create this hello world class for me. Now, I click the second option to bring that up. Now, every single class name should match identically to the name of your project or your file rather. Within this file is where we would put our methods and our variables that pertain to the hello world. Don't worry too much if you're like a little foggy about certain things that we go through. We're going to be repeating them many times. So you'll eventually grasp variables and functions. Programming is difficult because you're learning a new language. So don't give up, just keep pushing forward. Now what I'm going to do next is just type the word main and then you'll notice all of these options come up. Go ahead and click this first one. What this is, this is a static Java class. You can almost consider it that it's part of the Java language. And what it's used for is this is the main area where all of our code will run. So anything typed in here, when we go to run our program, will uh, essentially be the first thing that Java looks at. Now there, there are other structures that you know, you can have other things run at different times or before this. But for now, I want you to think about it this way, that this is called a method. And in some languages, it's called a function. And anything you type within these two curly braces for now is going to run um, first. So for example, say we would like to create a computer program that just simply prints out hello world, like to the screen. Well, I can create a print statement. So if you write SYS, and we go to system out, this line here is another pre-made Java command. And all it's used for is printing words to our command prompt. So we have system.out.println. I'm just going to go inside of here and I'm going to write hello world. Now, when I run this, and you can do that by hitting Control and F5, down at the bottom here, you'll see in our output that we have a hello world printed. So this is a, this, um, line of code here is a pre-made line of code that, again, is part of the Java language. 
And notice there's some there's a structure here, right? There's a bunch of these keywords separated by dots. We have a print line here, and then we have a bunch of text. Now you're learning a new language. And within this language, this command here prints words to the command prompt. So let's take a look at something called a variable. So I'd like to create a variable that's going to store the word hello world. Now the way uh, the structure of a variable is you first write what the variable is going to hold. So a variable is essentially like, uh, think about it like a cup. And you can put water in there, you can put um, oil, you can put whatever you want inside that cup. But sometimes you want to label your cup because you don't want uh, oil in the same cup that you put water in, right? So for example, in this one, I'd like to just put a string, which is just a, uh, a string is just a collection of letters. And I want to create a variable called hello. Now hello is just my cup equals, and I'm going to copy this hello world here, and I'm going to hit control X. So it's empty inside of there. And I'm going to paste that, and I'm going to put a semicolon. Now what this word hello is printing to the, uh, is storing my cup hello, it's holding this string of hello world. So let's copy this, and let's paste this inside of here. And now when I run this again, let's actually um, really clarify that in side of our hello variable we have put a colon and a space there. Now when I hit control and F5 again you can see that inside of our hello variable we have hello world. So this hello here is storing this hello world. So I'm going to stop this video here and if you need help go ahead and email me on setting up the compiler if you get any errors. And uh, whether you're a student of mine or not, I'd be happy to help you.